All right, here we go. The little cam controller to wake up the uh, scooter batteries, the jump batteries is here. So let's go through the setup so that you can wake them up. Here's what you get with the little thing. It's just a little board with some little leads here. Uh, you could connect this in here and then uh, use that, right? But I, what I ended up doing was just taking a um, Cat5 cable. It has uh, solid cables, wires in there, and then just, I did that, right? So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to solder it to can low and then can high, right? Can low and high, and then the five volts and then the ground. And then there's also this other pin right here, which is just a jumper. And I just connected a couple of these little wires and I just jumped it. And that's, you could put a switch there or you, I think you could just leave it on all the time and then just switch. No, I think you would want to use this as a switch to, to turn the packs on and off. Um, or you could also do that at the batteries with these cables. These, these are the ones that turn on the DC to DC over here. So basically this, this is a 36 volt battery, right? But then when you connect this in here, what happens is that it spits out um, five volts on the, on the uh, red and the black cables right here, right? So it has a DC to DC inside and it turns a 36 volts into five volts. And we can use those five volts to power our little can controller, right? And so that's what these this other connectors are. You can you can set it to do five, I guess 3.3 .3 also, but since we don't have a 3.3, I, I think maybe one of those other ones is a 3.3, .3, but we're gonna use the five. So let me let me connect it and then we'll show you how that works. So by the way, before we do that, here's what's happening. Um, most of you got these battery packs like this without any connectors right because this is how we got them uh eventually a lot of you guys got them with one connector which is the main one it looks like this right but it's really hard because there's another plate that goes in here so it's really hard to keep that in there it's a ton of work so what you end up doing most of the time is just cutting it and then trying to peel this back and then trying to put another connector that's exactly what i did on this battery here right and so here I took all these back and I cleaned them. It's got all these nasty glue thing in there and uh, it takes quite a bit of work, but I finally put it in there and then I put the connector right back in there. Uh, you might want to change this connector to something else if you don't want to source this out because these, these are expensive. They're like $10 on Amazon. You can find them cheaper at AliExpress. I was going to order a bunch of them, but they only sell the the pairs they don't really sell the ones that we need right this is all the ones that we have so we actually need the other connector which would be what the mail yeah it would be the mail that looks like this i was gonna do it but i decided not to do it so you guys are gonna have to source that uh, what i ended up doing in the other packs i just went ahead and just changed them to xt60s because i'm much more comfortable with those and i have tons of them laying around here. So on this particular test here, I am going to show you how to use this connector because that's what it came with. Uh, and just in case you wanna use it, right? But you could you could use whatever connector there. Um, I have made this little dongle here. This would be the two cables that are to charge. The yellow and the black are to charge. And then the, the red and the black are to discharge. And right now there's no power, right? So I've been connected this little uh, Batco battery meter here. And so there's nothing, if I connect it in there, then there's, it's the battery pack is dead because it requires CAN communication. It needs CAN commands to turn itself on, right? So that's what we're gonna do. Let me connect the CAN controller. Okay, here we go. And I connected the CAN controller there to the battery. Uh, on these, the colors are uh, yellow is can high, the green is can low, and then the black one is ground, and then the red one coming from the battery is five volts, right? So that's how you're gonna connect this. 
And then from the battery, you don't need the purple or the white. You are going to need the orange and the, uh, what is this, pink? And that's the one that, that you can use as a switch. That's the one that will turn on the DC to DC. And so when you connect it here, right? There we go. So now we have power coming out of the leads. Here we go. So when you connect these, Oh. There we go. So that's how you can turn on these battery packs. Now, you could use one of these little controllers per pack, but you don't have to because all of these packs basically require the same commands that this guy is throwing out there, right? So you could parallel a bunch of these batteries. That's exactly what I have going on here. I just wired all these can lows and can highs together, right on a twisted pair here. Uh, I think that's a common practice that they do, at least on our vehicles, on our DIY electric vehicles, we do the can networks via a twisted pair, right? On little ones like this, I guess you don't have to do it, but you know, why not get into the, the habit of doing it? So when you turn off and on this, all of these batteries turn off. And when you turn on, turn them on, and then they all see the can commands, then they all turn on at the same time, right? And so they're all now putting out power. Then you can actually uh, get the combined power of all of these here. I, well, if I'm building, if you're building a battery pack like this, I would go and individually check that every pack turns on. Not all of these packs are going to be uh operational there are different reasons why these batteries came off of bicycles right um most of them were because not because they had a technical problem but some of them did some of them they wouldn't charge anymore some of them you know and so maybe the bms circuitry in the packs is not going to be good i can't guarantee that all the ones that you bought are going to be uh, 100 percent uh, operational but the cells are good as you guys are testing there's only a few packs out of like the four or five thousand of these packs that we sold that had any of them that were really low or they were bad cells most of these like 99 percent you know were were good uh and so you'll have to check this right when you're connecting a multi-pack battery system like this and you're going to use one of these i would go and check individually just to make sure that they're all working and when you finally build this and you can get creative as to how you connect all this you can put this in a box with connectors or you can hardwire in there you could use this to turn it off and on or you can use this one right here whatever whichever cell or, or battery pack is going to power this right you, you don't have to power it with this battery also by the way you could power it with an external battery but why would you want to do that you just complicate the thing um you could also turn off these two cables here and then that will turn the power off to the controller here and then basically all of them would turn off, right? So there's a lot of choices that you can get uh, as to how creative you wanna get building your battery packs. But there are a ton of these. For now, they're sold out, um, but I think I will be getting more in the future. I can't guarantee that but uh their word is that there's another shipment coming with a few thousand of these still available and so if that happens then we're going to be ready but for all of the, you guys that already have these and have been waiting for the can controller now you can go to jack35.com and you can find it i will make this available uh and the description uh and the link in the description all right so thank you for watching this video we'll see you guys on the next one bye